In recent developments, India has marked a significant achievement in defense exports with the delivery of six advanced towed artillery gun system to Armenia. This delivery is part of a larger contract wherein Armenia has committed to purchasing a total of 90 units from Bharat Forge, a major Indian private defense manufacturing sector. The contract, valued at approximately 1265 crore rupees, outlines a phased delivery plan that includes the shipment of an additional 84 guns over the next three years. And in today's video we will talk about India's ATAGS in little bit of details and try to understand why it is a significant advancement in India's artillery capabilities. The Advanced Towed Artillery Gun System stands for ATAGS is an indigenous 155mm into 52 caliber howitzer gun developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. This gun stands out for its longer range compared to traditional artillery systems, making it an effective tool in long-range engagements. Its design incorporates advanced materials and electronics, improving its accuracy and reliability. India has made ATAGS mainly for self-reliance, weapons modernization and export purposes. This project started in 2013 by DRDO and the Armament Research and Development Establishment. It was supposed to take about four years, ending in March 2017. However, the project faced delays due to challenges in finalizing the ordnance and recoil system and issues with manufacturing subsystems. Regarding trail and tests, the ATAGS has been tested in different places, like the deserts in Rajasthan and the mountains in Sikkim, and it's done well everywhere. It's a bit heavy because of its battery engines, but the Indian Army still likes it for its strategic benefits. The gun system was publicly showcased for the first time at the 68th Republic Day Parade on January 26, 2017, and later featured in the 21-gun salute during the 76th Independence Day celebrations. India's ATAGS is a 155mm 52 caliber artillery gun boasting over 95% of indigenous components. The gun is equipped to fire 155mm caliber ammunition and can achieve a firing range of up to 48 kilometers. It incorporates an all-electric drive to ensure reliability and demands minimal maintenance over extended periods. In terms of firing capabilities, this gun system can discharge 6 rounds in 30 seconds, reaching a range of 45 kilometers. It is capable of firing high-explosive extended-range full-bore artillery rounds over 35 kilometers and extended-range full-bore base bleed projectiles beyond 45 kilometers. The system's flexibility is evident in its firing modes. In burst mode, it can fire a minimum of 3 rounds in 30 seconds, and in intense mode, it can launch a minimum of 12 rounds in 180 seconds. The ATAGS boasts an advanced communication system and an automatic command and control system, equipped with night firing capability in both direct and indirect fire modes. Additionally, this gun is equipped with an auxiliary power mode. This mode allows the system to function effectively even in scenarios where the main power sources are unavailable or compromised. Except that this gun is specially made to work with systems like the Artillery Combat Command and Control System ACCCS, also called Shakti. This lets the army control where and when to fire, plan their attacks, set up the guns, and manage their supplies and logistics. Also, it shows a high level of compatibility with Advanced Command Control Communications Computers and Intelligence Systems C4I. The Artillery Combat Command and Control System, known as Shakti, is a high-tech, fully digital network system made for the Indian Army. Shakti is a set of powerful tactical computers that help automate and make decisions for all parts of artillery operations, from higher levels down to individual units. Shakti helps in accurately timing and placing artillery fire, making the best use of resources, planning attacks, managing how artillery is set up, and handling logistics. Let's imagine a situation to understand how Shakti system works. Suppose the Indian army needs to fire artillery at enemy spots. High-level commanders pick out these enemy targets and put this info into the Shakti system. Shakti, with its advanced computers, figures out the best plan. 
It thinks about where our soldiers are, which artillery guns are available, and the best way to shoot. Then, it suggests the best way to place and use these guns. Shakti also plans when to fire the artillery, so many guns work together at the right time. As of 2023, the Indian Army is in the process of acquiring approximately 300 gun units. The initial order of 300 numbers is expected to be just the beginning, as the Indian Army plans to induct more advanced versions of this system to fulfill its total requirement of 1,580 such guns. If we compare India's ATAGS with other similar global guns, the British-designed M777 howitzer, though lighter at 4,200 kg and having a range of up to 40 km with GPS-guided munitions, falls short in firing rate compared to the ATAGS. The German Panzerhobitz 2000, weighing a hefty 55.8 tons, has a longer range of up to 67 km but is significantly more massive than ATAGS. The French Caesar, mounted on a truck chassis and weighing between 17.7 to 30.2 tons, offers a range of about 42 kilometers, extending over 50 kilometers with rocket-assisted shells. Overall, while the ATAGS may not have the sheer firepower or range of the PZH-2000 or the lightweight advantage of the M777, its balance of range, firepower, mobility, and innovative design make it a competitive option particularly for the Indian Army's specific operational needs. In conclusion, this comprehensive combination of indigenous development, extended range, rapid firing capability, and advanced technological features positions the ATAGS as a significant asset in India's artillery arsenal, enhancing the nation's defensive capabilities in various combat scenarios. Thank you for joining us in exploring the India's ATAGS. If you found this video insightful, do hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more military tech insights. Until the next video, stay curious and keep exploring.